Hello, welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. Welcome to the lake. You see? You see, there it is. <laughs> I shouldn't say a lake, it's like an ice rink now. So I want to do a video today on how I go about picking my color combinations because it seems as though there's only so many, you know, blues and pinks, whatever you can do. So I just kind of wanted to show you my thought process in case it could help you get some inspiration as well. So <clears throat> I've been playing with these Benjamin Moore color pots for my pillow. Um, as you know, if you've watched me in the past, I used to use Sherwin-Williams color to go, but they're not making it. So this is an okay replacement it's not as good in my opinion because it's a little thinner however if you leave it open for a few days to thicken up it could work better um, so you want to make sure it's super thick now i accidentally for some reason got this color brown and i thought it was weird i was like why am i why did i get a brown it's called by the way um buck trout brown so i was like you know what i'm gonna go with the flow and see what happens so <clears throat> i've decided on a split pillow bloom meaning i'm gonna use two different colors and i have this other color which is like a beautiful lilac-y color which is called by the way <clears throat> purple lace so purple and brown do you think i don't know so I thought to myself, okay, these are kind of <clears throat> the brown, sorry, I have something in my throat. <coughs> the brown is kind of a, no, it's kind of a warmishy brown, but not too warm. And this is more of a cool color. So I decided to go with greens and purples because obviously the purples will go with this and green and purple always look nice together. And I'm hoping that they will match. Now, problem number one. TLP has, was planning on re releasing this color called Agapanthus, which is like the beautifulest purplest color. However, they've realized they've had to pull it because it's some, um, it didn't react well with everybody. Cause you know, they have a lot of testers around the world to make sure it works. It didn't really play nicely with everybody's products. However, it plays nicely with mine. So they pulled it. I'm still going to use it. They're going to fix it and re and release it again in the spring. But for now, you can't get it. Um, but if you have a color similar, you know what? Maybe I'll make a video on how to, we can try to like kind of hack it and make it. But it's like a silvery purple. So that's the one I wanted to use first. So then I said to myself, since we're going purples and greens, I'm going to pull my TLP Aspen, which is a really great green. Why don't I show them mixed up? Actually, it's better. So this is the Aspen, and this is the Agapanthus so far, right? Don't they feel like they'll look nice together? So then I said to myself, I need an interference color because um, I always use an interference color. If you go a few videos back, I talk all about what interference colors are, how to use them, and I decided, strangely enough, to go with one of my favorites, Velvet. The reason that's strange is because it's a blue interference, like almost sometimes purpley, but not really. Um, TLP Shimmer, not Shimmer, TLP Twinkle would be good because that's actually, but I ran out. Um, that's actually like a purpley blue one, but Twinkle will do. So you see we're kind of sticking with the cool colors. So we have the bluish green and purple. Okay, so that I said to myself, I have three pigments. We need to start mixing two paints. So what I did was I said, okay, well, I need a kind of dark green to balance off the sparkles and the colors uh, and the interference color. So I've been using this color a lot lately. Oh, I didn't bring it here. It's called Whole Bean um, Shadow Green. Why don't I go get... Uh, uh, here it is, whole bean, shadow green. This is what it looks like mixed up. It's pretty dark and I wouldn't, and it is a cool, cause it's almost like it has like a blue tinge to it. Um, I'm not gonna use a lot of it, but underneath an interference would really bring out 
that sparkle a lot. So you kind of get where I'm going now. So then I said to myself, okay, we need a purple color, a purple tube paint. So I make a lot of custom colors myself. Um, this I made, it's just Diox purple and white. I didn't want a full dark Diox purple. Um, so I put some white in there. So you see, we're still staying with the cool tones, right? Now I said to myself, we need a light green. So I'm always trying to think about darks and lights and really layering them accordingly. So I made another custom color, um, which I kind of like. Now, sometimes you have to work hard for your custom colors because I started with phthalo green and white and it looked very um, not cool enough. So I added a bit of my golden Payne's Gray, which is a kind of cool blue, like a really dark blue. And then it toned down the warmy color and made it a little cooler. So you kind of see where I'm going. I'm, I'm going to show you um, all of them together. Then I said to myself, okay, do you know what it needs? Because we're too cool now. So I decided what would look nice with all these cool colors is nice gold. So I mixed up some TLP ore. And then finally I said to myself, we need one more tube paint. And I feel like using my Payne's Gray Cell Activator, which is dark. And my cell activator is the Shelly Art Recipe, which is Aussie Floetrol, about three to one, but I don't measure. So I mixed up underneath because I know that I want a light color underneath my dark cell activator. This is Titanium Buff. Um, this is Amsterdam. They call it Titanium Buff Light. So it's not white, but it's a kind of warm, creamy color. So you can see that it's not, I'm bringing some warmth into the colors, but it won't disrupt the cool colors that I've made. I hope that makes sense. That's just kind of how my brain works, where I'm always wanting to play off <clears throat> the warms and the darks and the lights and the darks. So um, what I've decided to do in my layering is I'm gonna start with the gold because since I'm blooming, your first layer and your last layer is what shows up the most. So I just wanted like a bit of the gold in the middle. So I'm gonna start with the gold. Um, then I'm gonna top that gold off with my shadow green. And on top of the shadow green is where I'm gonna place my interference color because that's what's gonna <clears throat> make it pop. And so you notice that I'm layering right now one pigment, one tube, one pigment, one tube. Now, if you're a beginner, I wouldn't start with a pigment just because consistencies are very important. I also have mixing videos. Um, you wanna make sure everything's perfect so your cells don't melt and stuff, but that's a whole other video. But on top of that velvet, I'm gonna put my custom purple. And on top of that purple, I am going to do the Aspen. On top of the Aspen, I'm gonna do my custom. And then I have room for one more piggy, one more paint. I'm gonna end with Agapanthus and then top it with my Titan Buff and my Cell Activator. So I'll show you all the colors mixed up. Um, and then we'll actually get to blooming. We'll do the split pillow. I hope this brown isn't uh, gross, right? I don't know. We'll see. All right, I'll bring you over. See you in a sec. Okay, so here are the colors together <clears throat> and how I'm gonna layer them this way with my cell activator. So I'm hoping they kind of go well. And I'm layering that brown on a diagonal. Now I'm not gonna be super perfect with it because who's super perfect, right? Ooh, I don't know, it's pretty brown, guys. Oh Lord, is this a bad idea? And I actually, I think I'm going to do um, some, I'll do three littler blooms, hopefully. That might be funner, I don't know. All right, and here's that purple. Oops. It's a really pretty purple.
Now you'll find the lighter colors are thicker than the darker colors. That's just normally what happens. So your spin won't be totally even either. So keep that in mind. And I'll just go like, yeah, the white's super, I mean, the light dark is super thick. Okay. All right, here we are. So what am I doing? Well, why don't I start in the middle and I'll, or maybe instead of three blooms, I'll do one bloom and I'll just do like vines on either side. We don't know yet, right? Let's just start layering. So I have my ore. Okay. Uh, fine, I'll do three. So remember your corners are gonna spin off. So you don't wanna make them too big. I always make them too big. Um, and you wanna place them kind of closer together. All right, let's do our shadow green. I'm gonna try to keep it small. And my paints have really thickened up because it's really freezing here. Um, and I'm in a room just with like a fireplace. So sometimes it's like so hot, sometimes it's so cold. So you really have to work hard <laughs> if your weather's not perfect. Here's the velvet. Oops, I'm doing a pretty good job. Okay, except for the drippy drips. Doing a pretty good job keeping it small so far. Um, here is my custom perps. All right, <clears throat> I know it seems like a lot of colors and you know what, it might be. <laughs> you don't know yet, because <laughs> we're only halfway done. All right, here's the um, Aspen. You could also like, if you're doing th multiple ones, you can like alternate colors, which always look nice, but too much thinking for me right now. And then here, I really hope this isn't ugly. I, <laughs> whenever I do this, I always start to get more and more nervous as I'm layering, because it's like, ugh, you just never know what's gonna happen, you know? All right, and finally we have the Agapanthus. Put a little bit more, it's so pretty. And, oh Lord, sorry, I had something hanging from there. We can fix those little oopsies after. Um, and then the Titan buff. I'm just gonna use the Titan buff sparingly. And you can see my spinner's not even. Okay. All right, are you ready for the big reveal? Here we go. So I'm gonna start with the middle one and then work from there. Hopefully this looks nice. Panic yet. Okay. Next. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about this brown. Okay, last one.
All right. So now we have some fixing to do, like this thing right here. I think, oh, that's all pillow paint. Oh no, right in the middle. I blew too hard on that one. But not to worry, I can try, it looks really horrible right now. I'm just gonna get my skewer. And then we're gonna try to fix it. So what happens if your paints are too thick or too thin? So first, let's fix all the ugly parts we don't like. So what I'm doing is I'm just pretending that these are attached, right? Okay, so now let's work on this right here. How do I fix that? Well, I'm gonna bring some paint into it to break it up. Okay, and then we'll fix this right here. Okay, now also we don't like these drippy drips that happened. All right, now that's gonna spin off, but we can at least do that. So all the boring parts I'm just mixing together. All right, let's work on this side. When your paints are too thick, sometimes it's hard to blow them far. So you get an uneven look. I have, a, I have a lot of areas to fix right now. Get rid of that, get rid of that. But we don't give up until the very last spin. Because I've learned you really never know. Okay, so I think we're okay. I'm going to uh, put this down and I'm gonna start spinning slowly because I want to kind of see. All right, there's one little thing I want to fix. It's just bothering me, this little piece right here. And then also I want to fix this little piece right here. All right, now let us, oops. Because my spinner's not even, I'm just gonna switch it around a bit. And we wanna go slow so we can um, see where we're going. All right, I'm gonna move her around a little bit again. And again, we're not even gonna know until I bring it into the light to see the sparkle, right? Because that's always the most magical part. All right, I think I like her this way. And there's one thing I wanna fix right here. Okay. Um, yeah. All right, I mean, I'm not hating it yet. This lighting isn't great. So we're, we'll really make the decision when I bring her over. I want to get a little bit of this corner off here. Okay, kind of cool marble effect happening down there. Um, yeah, okay, I mean, I don't hate it. Uh, which way do we wanna look at it? I don't know which way we're looking at it yet. You know what, I'm gonna bring you over to the light. We could be looking at it this way. You guys will let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it even looks nice. And have a good day, bye.